Hello and welcome to today's lesson which is on percentage multipliers. Okay, so now percent means out of a hundred, it actually um, comes from the Latin for per cent, per out of cent, which is 100. So we're, what we're doing here is we're working out what the percentage is. Um, now the reason I mention that is because when I'm working out something like 80%, um, there's, a, there's an easy way to do it if you have your calculator by thinking about something which is called a multiplier. So to find out your multiplier, what you need to do is you need to um, write your percentage as a decimal. So remember that percent means out of 100. So if I want to write 80% as a decimal, or well, 80% as a decimal is equal to 80 out of 100, which is equal to 0 0.8. And this, I'll do this in a better colour actually, 80 out of 100, which is equal to 0 0.8. Now that there is what's called our multiplier. And we can use this when we're doing a calculator methods, when we're doing reverse percentages, compound interest, uh, when we're doing depreciation, when we're doing multiple percentages, we can use this really, really simply to help us with those trickier problem solving questions. So I wanna take a little bit of time just to focus on this. So this here was exactly example one, wasn't it? Mul multiplying by which number is equivalent to finding 80%. Now, I might just prove that, just to show you. Um, so to find out, let's let's do it. So um, let's find, find 80% of 200. So to do that, we can either use the bar method or we can use whatever we want. I'm gonna split this up, use my bar here. Split this up, we know this is worth 200, which is equal to 100%. We're gonna split this up into 10 parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten parts there. We know that each of these parts is worth 10%. So let's find out what each of these worth by doing 200 divided by 10, which is equal to 20, 20. So all of these are worth 20. Now if I want 80% of these, I need eight of these, don't I? 10%, 10%, 10%, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is going to be um, 8 times by 20, which is equal to 160. Okay, so 8 times by 20 of these, which is equal to 160. Now, that took a bit of time, and you would have to use that kind of technique for um, non-calculator methods. However, there's a really easy way for this, and the much easier way when you're using a calculator if I spelled it right, cal -q later <laughs> is by doing, finding this out as a multiplier, which is the 0 0.8, and literally just doing 200 times by your multiplier. So 200 times by 0 0.8, which is equal to 160. So much easier, okay? So um, that was example one. I, I went around the houses with that a little bit, but um, that's just to make sure you understood the reasons why we're doing this. So the next part says here, remember to make sure you're getting these down in your notes because the only way to learn maths is to do it. So which number is equivalent to finding 16%? So this here is example two. This question has actually come from a past paper question. These do come up, okay? So which number is equivalent to, multi um, to finding 16%? Well, 16% as a decimal is equal to 0 0.16. So this here is your multiplier. So the answer is 0 0.16. Nice and easy. Okay, let's have a go at our next one. So this one here is a little bit different. I'll make it big so you can see it. So what would you multiply by to increase a number by 70%? So this one here is example... Three. So what would you multiply by to increase by 70%? Now, if I'm increasing by 70%, now, the thing we need to think about here is that your original amount is always 100%. So I'm starting with 100% and I'm increasing by 70%. So here I've got 100%. And if I'm increasing by 70%, I'm adding 70% on, which is equal to 170%. 
And remember, if I want to write this as a um, decimal, then I'm going to be doing 70% means, sorry, 170% means 170 out of 100, which is equal to 1.7. And that there is your multiplier. So if I wanted to increase by 70%, I would multiply by 1.7. Brilliant. So let's have a go at another one of these. I've done a little, little bit different this time. So example four, this one. And what number would you um, multiply by to decrease a number by 8%? So to decrease a number by 8%, what I need to do is I need to do 100% again, that's my original amount, minus this time 8%, which is equal to 92%. Okay, and remember percent means out of 100, so 92% is equal to 92 divided by 100, which is equal to 0.92. So this here is your multiplier. This is what you'd multiply by to have a reduction in 8%. Okay, super. So let's have a go now at the next question. So. We're looking now at actually using values and increasing these by, well, whatever we want to. So in this case here, let's have a put, I'll put these up so you can see them. So our first one here says, increase 220 by 13%. So let's have a look at this one together then. So the first thing we need to do is find out what our multiplier is. Now we've already had a think about that. We've done, um, if we're increasing, we're going to start with our, what, what number is this one, sorry, this one here is example um, 5, is it? Yeah, example 5. Example 5, so I've got 100%, I'm going to increase by 13%, so plus 13%, which is equal to 113%. I write this as a multiplier, so 113%. Is equal to 113 out of 100 which is equal to 1.13 so this is what I multiply by to get an increase of 13% so then it's going to be the 220 multiplied by 1.13 remember this is, comes up on the calculator so it's going to be 220 times by 1.13 which in this case is equal to 200 and 48.6. Super. So that's our first question. So much easier than finding 10%, 3%. We just write it as a multiplier and then work it out. So let's have a go at this next one then. Example 6. It might be worth pausing and have a little go at that. I think you should be able to do that right now. So let's have a go at it then. So decrease 72 by 5%. So I start off with my original amount, which is 100%. If I'm decreasing, then I need to subtract 5%, which is equal to 95%. Write that as a multiplier. So 95% is equal to 95 out of 100, which is equal to 0.95%. So this here, would, if I multiply by this, gives me a reduction of 5%. That's what that does. So then I do 72 times by 0.95%, which is equal to, sorry, not percent, 0.95. So 72 times by 0.95, which is equal to 68.4, like so. And that's it. There's the term answer. So I've, remember this is money, so this needs to be pounds. This one here also needs it to be pounds. In fact, with both of these, what I need to do, because it's money, I would need to write the zero on there as well. So make sure you're copying that. Make sure you're not um, you're thinking about that because that is pence and we wouldn't do pence to one decimal place, would we? All right, super. So there's those two questions, nice and straightforward. So check those answers yet. Yeah. £248.60 and, and £68.40. And so this next question um, is... Um, one which does come up quite a lot. Now it comes up kind of in the middle. You notice it says three marks here. This is because it has come up on a past paper before. So let's have a look at a little look at this one. 
Ross has a season ticket. In 2013, the season ticket was £65. In 2014, the cost of the ticket was increased by 8%. In 2015, the cost was increased by a further 5%. Calculate the cost of the season ticket. So, let's have a look at this one together. So, this one here is example 7. So we know at first in 2013, we know the ticket costs 65%. Then what we've got in 2014, we've got an increase of um, 8%. So let's do that here. So 100% plus the 8%, which is equal to 108%. I write this as a multiplier, which is going to be 108 divided by 100, which is equal to 1.08. We've done that. We know that that one works there like so. So then the next one in 2015, we know that it's increasing by a further 5%. So that one here, instead of this, is going to be equal to 100% plus 5% this time, which is equal to 105% which is equal to 1.05 this time. So if I want to, if I'm starting with £65, I'm increasing by 8% in the first year, so I times by this, 1.08. I'm increasing by 5% in the next year, so times by 1.05. Now this is the first year, this is the second year, this is both of those years in one using the multiplier method. So let's do that on my calculator. 65 times by 1.08 times by 1.05 which in this case is equal to 73 pounds and 71p brilliant and that's worth three marks and that's that's on the higher paper and if you know how to use these methods they do become easy okay so here's some questions for you to have a little go at it's quite a short video this one so make sure you're having a go at those questions pause now and have a little go at those Okay, I'm going to pop the answers up, so mark these in green for me. Okay, quite a quick little lesson, that one, but it is so important for when you're doing things like compound interest, when you're doing reverse percentages, when we're doing uh, multiple percentages, something like that last one as well. So do make sure you're having a go at these questions, because remember, the only way to learn maths is to do it and have a lovely day. Thank mm -hmm. you.